And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of RX Anglers. I am going to go fishing in the marsh on my kayak. I'm meeting up another friend there. But the target species today is going to be redfish because a lot of you guys actually liked the catch and cook that I did with my wife. So I am going to make her cook a redfish if I'm able to catch one. But after fishing, I have a surprise that I want to reveal to you guys. So stay tuned. Fishing is going to be first because fishing is fishing on the channel. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, we just made it to the boat launch. We got rainy conditions, man. It started pouring really bad when I got up here. I didn't expect that, man. The weatherman lied to me. I can't believe he did that. It's been a common trend lately. But anyways, it's still a little bit chilly. I imagine the water temp's gonna be in the low mid 50s. Don't know, my hopes are not high, but I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm gonna try a shallow lake in a back back marsh. See if I can tag into some redfish so I can get my wife to cook it for me because she's so mean. But anyways, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna use these small micro lures and maybe maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. We'll see. The water is uh yeah, it's kinda it's kinda cool. It's a cool feeling. Alright, here we go folks. And the goal is to try to catch fish today. <laughs> try to catch one fish, right? That's all we need is one fish, man. One fish and I am a happy camper. All right, here we go. Another adventure of Arx Angler. Welcome back, folks. I appreciate you guys watching my crusty, crusty videos. All right, we are finally at our designated spot. A lot of ducks out here, a lot of ducks. No wonder the duck hunters are in mass. These aren't decoys though, but these are all ducks. Duck hunters over there. I just feel bad we just spooked these ducks to the duck hunters so yeah oh guys i would just land and just stay there okay what's up cows how's it going don't go nowhere i ain't gonna hurt you i'm just fishing look guys i'm just fishing that's it there we go there's a fish there was a guy a smaller guy got him on that little bait fish oh he might be uh not a slot <laughs> little red fish oh man so there are fish out here grinding it grinding it for a louisiana slot there you go check it out beautiful fish don't let him go he's not legal enough to keep there you go bud there we go there's another red that's he has a little bit more pull on him. Yep, that's another redfish. Another smaller guy. This might be my my biggest smaller guy today. Yep, no, not really. Well, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of small dudes. You know, that's just the day we're having today. No big guys. Yeah, he's another 17 incher probably. All right, buddy, give me my lure back and we'll let you go. Beautiful fish nonetheless. There you go, bud. Yeah, this little bait fish thing is working. There we go. Another small little redfish. There we go. There we go. Small little red. <laughs> the micro lure catches some micro fish. Beautiful. Thank you, bud. Dude, check it out, guys. We're just cruising around. He's tossing. Mike got a nice flounder there. He's probably pushing the... I think he might be 14, right at 14, bro. Yeah, I would bet money he's right at 14. Nice, man. Good job. Woo-wee, folks. I got blown up today, man. What a tough day of fishing. 
I grinded it out for literally four, maybe five hours. I must have put over five to six hundred casts on the lure. My arm is pretty sore. But anyways, that was besides the point. I still caught fish. I still had a good time. So if you guys recalled, I put a community poll on the community tab in YouTube. And I wanted to know if you guys were interested in hunting. The uh, reason why I asked is because a lot of you guys really don't know this, but I'm actually pro Second Amendment. I am a big firearm advocate, part of the NRA uh, for many, many years. I actually got my concealed ha handgun carry in Texas when it first implemented in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I've had it since. And you know, I, I love firearms. Um, I love GUNs. I can't say that word on YouTube because they'll ding me. So let's just call them boomsticks. I love boomsticks. Hog hunting especially is something I want to do. Eventually I want to branch off to turkey and dove, ducks, all that good stuff. Eventually to the majestic white tail. But you know, as long as I've been shooting, I've never, never hunted. And it's something I've always wanted to do. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity on YouTube because I have an outdoors fishing channel. So why not implement some hunting on that fishing channel? So I've decided that's what I'm going to do this year. I already have a hunt set up for hog hunting. Um, coming, coming really soon, guys. You guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell notification so you guys know when that's happening. But anyways, I am going to go to the the boomstick store and pick up a new a new boomstick that's capable enough to do hog hunting. I already have a 5.56 AR-15. Everyone has one of those. If you're in Texas, I myself included. I might I may pick up a new one in the future, but. Um, I am going to go to the, the boomstick store and see if I can pick up a new boomstick. I have one in mind, especially a stronger caliber than the 5.56 because some of the some of these hogs here in Texas, man, they're, they are freaking huge. I'm talking about 200 plus big, big dudes with cutters and they're nasty. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to do some hunting. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay. back folks and here she is look at this beautiful boomstick i just picked up from the boomstick store this is a radical this is made by radical firearms a local firearm maker in stafford texas this right here is it's chambered in 7.62 by 39 an ar-15 that shoots ak-47 rounds i'm really excited i decided to go with this round here because well, technically, I was wanting to get a 6.8 special. However, um, the guy that I talked to at the Boomstick store, he actually is a big, big hog hunter. He showed me some videos on his phone of him taking out some massive, massive hogs with this exact Boomstick right here. I was really impressed because the 6.8, it's not a cheap, cheap Boomstick especially at round it's like around a dollar dollar 25 per round so every time you're you're shooting a hog uh, and you miss think of it as cha-ching 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 uh, unless you're just a marksman but that's really hard to do because they're always running but anyways i decided to go with this because cost effectiveness is pretty pretty darn good and 7.62 by 39 is available everywhere and i've never owned an AR-15 AK-47 Mutant before. Uh, let me just show you exactly what I have so far. This came from the factory, pretty loaded with a lot of cool things. You have free float um, rail here. It didn't come with sights, so I picked up some Magpul rear and front uh, Emba sights. It comes standard with Magpul pistol grip here. Uh, I, up I updated the trigger. They had a trigger package at the boomstick store it was only like 70 bucks but it's a cool crisp five pound pull which is going to help with accuracy because i'm going to be honest with you guys a lot of you already probably already know that 7.62 by 39 is not accurate now it's okay from i'd say 50 to 150 maybe up to 200 yards but after 200 yards it's pretty much it's pretty much useless this is not accurate at all but in texas hog hunting doesn't go past 200 yards well most of the times most of the times if you're looking past 200 yards then you're probably more better off with a 6.8 special 308 7.62 by 39 ak-47 round is 
perfect enough to take down some massive, massive hogs. And it's cheap, only 25 cents per practice round. That dude was showing me some massive kills uh, using some cheap wolf ammo that's like, like I said, 25 cents around. He was taking them out, bat, 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 left and right with this exact boom sip right here. So I decided to put a 1x6 primary arms optics on it. As I think, honestly, 1x6 is probably overkill because, like I said, I'm not going to be shooting past 150 yards, honestly, because it's just, accuracy just goes down the drain with the AK-47 round. This whole package here was pretty, pretty cheap, okay? I'm, I'm talking about ammo, trigger update, optics, front and rear sights. Did I say ammo? I bought like almost a thousand rounds of ammo. All that cost me less than 1400 bucks with the boomstick itself. To me, that's a freaking steal. I can't wait to my first hog hunt. I hope you guys really enjoy the new thing that I'm putting on my channel. Like I said, I've always wanted to get into ho uh, hunting, especially hog hunting in Texas, where it's a big, big problem. And uh, I thought this was a great, great avenue to do it through my channel and you know, it's always something I've always wanted to do and why not, right? Fishing is gonna be my primary, primary things I stated earlier, so don't worry about that. Fishing is majority of the of the videos I'm gonna be pushing out, but I'm gonna be pushing out other outdoor stuff to keep you glued to my channel. Really, really excited about this Mutant AR-15 with the AK-47 round. This boomstick is gonna lay some bacon on the grill. Let me know, comments below, good or bad, I read everything. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.